Noe Canales came to this country to escape civil war in his native El Salvador. He believes discipline and dedication helped him to achieve his dream to own his own restaurant. The restaurant is named Tortino, and today that restaurant is here with me in the studio along with Noe. Good to have you here, sir. Thank you. Um, first of all, this is a delicious, wonderful spread, which I can't wait to get used, uh, get into, rather. But I want you to, first of all, tell me your story. So it was 1990, Correct. and how old were you? 19, 19 years. 19 years yeah. old, and you came to the United States with your parents, with your siblings? I was myself, actually. You just came by yourself? Yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. So did you have any relatives here? Yes, I did. And, and you stayed with them yes. at the time? So your mom and your dad and your siblings, are they still in El Salvador? They're in El Salvador, yes. Wow. So when have you been back? Have you been back recently? Uh, not too long. Well, I would say five years almost since, you know, the country's getting worse and worse. Are you concerned about your family's safety? Yes, I am. But, uh, well, we just hope and things get better. Mm. But... Uh, but they know that you've opened a restaurant. What do they think about that? Well, they're, they're happy. They're happy about that. Yeah, <laughs> exciting. And, and they're happy about your life here in the United States? Well, I would say uh, yes, yes, yes. You know, definitely yes. They're happy. I'm doing well. Uh, it's, uh, you know, actually when they got the news about the restaurant, they were even happier. Absolutely. Say, yes. And things are going well. Things are well. Okay, so explain to us, when you first came to this country, you worked in Italian restaurants, right? Yes, correct. And that began your love affair with all things Italian? Well, you know, when I first came here, my first job was actually in a, in a restaurant, Italian restaurant, and I started cleaning dishes. Um, Not cleaning dishes anymore, are you? <laughs> no, no, actually now we hire, you know. Uh, uh, You're the man responsible uh, yes, for hiring correct. someone yes, to do I'm that. Hiring, it must yes. be a good feeling. And I'm inspiring, you know, young uh, uh, people that come to work for, for, for me now. Uh, and I actually tell my history about me, you know, how did, how did I start. And not, uh, I mean, uh, right now actually I have a great uh, sous chef that uh, I just uh, 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 give him a great, I would say, you know, making him a sous chef because um, I see a great talent on him, and that just actually reminds me how to, the way I started. And um, he's actually my sous chef now, and I'm That's very happy fantastic. about that. Well, it yeah. sounds like you know not only are you um, you know finding your way, and, and you've got your own restaurant now, but you're also reaching back into the community and you're helping youngsters because what you went through um, was um, quite quite enormous. What you went through and you know the ability to come to this country with nothing nothing literally and now you have right. this wonderful restaurant so tell us about the restaurant and then tell me what I'm looking at because I'm ready to eat well Pardon as me? you can see here yes these are crispy uh, salsa figs and we have some grilled watermelon grilled watermelon and uh, arugula pesto arugula pesto Correct. pesto interesting yes, yes, nice yes. okay and well I actually brought some um, uh, buffalo mozzarella, mm -hmm. purple basil pesto, so mm. it's, mm. and uh, we also have here some microgreens, mm -hmm. very tiny, and burrata cheese. And tell me, what cheese. is burrata cheese? Well, uh, burrata cheese is just, uh, I would say, uh, more creamy, creamier than the than regular the mozzarella. Yeah. It's a little softer, it's, too. Yeah, softer and actually tastes, you know, even better, that's why it's called mm. creamy. Right. <laughs> the cream of the cream, you know. Right, right. Exactly. And so what would you do with this? I mean, obviously this is a delicious summer treat because we've got the grilled watermelon, so we're using what's in season. And you, this is beef carpaccio. Correct. Right? So what what are we gonna make? I I'm sensing a salad is in my future. Well, uh, if you let me know, I can actually start plating some for you. Okay. And uh, we have here the beef carpaccio, tiny mm -hmm. slice. Mm -hmm. Then we can actually do just a little bit of salt. Now this is sea salt, over. everybody, sea which salt, everybody correct. should be using sea salt at home anyway, because it's less exactly. bad then, for our Then we health. do a little bit of uh, uh, grinded uh, black pepper, mm -hmm. fresh. Mm -hmm. And because uh, here we have some uh, 
lemon dressing, Ooh, which is delicious. just uh, extra virgin olive oil mm -hmm. and uh, lemon, fresh lemon juice. Oh, I love anything lemony. Oh, all right. And mm. we're going to do the arugula. And then we're doing the arugula pesto. Pesto, exactly. And you're doing it all fancy because you got something <laughs> in mind here. Correct. This is going to look just... What's your favorite dish to make? while you're doing this. Well, for me, I would say that, uh, uh, it's a little hard question because <laughs> I really love, I really you enjoy like doing everything. Yeah. And um, what, what do you like to eat? What's your favorite to eat? Probably? Well, I would say a very simple linguine with tomato, fresh tomato and basil, mm. extra virgin olive oil that will be the easiest one. And, and it's delicious. It's easy to make. Exactly. It gets the exactly, job done. Exactly. Exactly. Um, <laughs> okay. So now. So now we're gonna we're putting do some, some greens. Microgreens. Microgreens. And this is one we go. And they're called microgreens because little. they look very little. Big uh, micro. How am I doing? The, you've got the crew in here. That they're just in trance. They can't wait to see what's next. Oh, a big cut, knife. Yes, a big knife. Okay. So we cut. Uh, all right. Cut here our buffalo mozzarella, That's which the will go actually burracci or the burra burrata cheese. Burrata cheese. There it you will go. will go right on top. Oh, look at that! And then the crispy. The and what are we going to do with the grilled um, watermelon? That will be another. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Can you imagine if that came to your table? Are you okay. ready? You ready to eat some? Yeah. Yeah. Me too. And we spread a little more. Oh, Microgreen well, yes. just to make it look a little. Yes. Oh my goodness. Well done. And here we are, the last touch. And Extra what's that? virgin olive oil. And e V O. Mm, there it is. There Very it is. Oh, simple. that looks delicious. That is beautiful. Yes, All right, so right. tell me what you're going to do next. We're gonna do the uh, actually the um, heirloom tomato salad mm -hmm. with uh, grilled uh, watermelon mm -hmm. and buffalo mozzarella cheese. Now. Okay, all so. right. So we're gonna take the salad that I'm eating out of with my hands. Just uh -huh. leave some for me to mm -hmm. make. Okay, I'll probably. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So it looks like we're running out of time a little bit, but I do want you guys to see what the grilled watermelon looks like. Can you get a shot of that, Sean? And we're running out of time, but just kind of tell me, how would you do this? You would, you would put, explain it. Well, um, I, will, I will just do a little bit of the uh, purple basil. Mm -hmm. And then what? And then we do the uh, wages of um, heirloom tomato, mm -hmm. lime cucumber that actually is right here. Mm -hmm. You can see the... Uh, oh, uh, that's what this is. Yes. Okay. And this, this is a cucumber, and it comes out very this crunchy. big. Yes, very yes. crunchy. Very crunchy. Yeah, very Correct. substantial. And we have the beautiful heirloom tomato. Mm -hmm. You can see the difference between a mm -hmm. regular tomato. Mm -hmm. It's very tasty. Um, and then, and of course, the grilled watermelon. Yes, that will be the watermelon. Looks like that. Yep. And voila, we've got another salad, don't we? Yes, yes, yes. No um, way. Thank you so much for bringing us such a beautiful spread. And your story is so, um, it's just so inspirational. And I wish you the very luck with Tortino's. Tell us where is it located? Well, Tortino's is located on 1228 11th Street, Northwest Washington, D.C. Ooh, you're kind of close by, aren't you? We are. Actually. Yonder? Oh, it's okay. Just like, it's just like five blocks just from five. here. I can walk. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Thank you so much. Big my, hug, Chef. Thank my you. My pleasure. And good luck to you. And we're so proud of you. Thank you so much. All right, Tortino's Restaurant. Noe Canales, the owner. Thank you so much, sir.